welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm Mom with Muscle. And in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my newest purchases for home decor for the year 2022. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching. <laughs> My name is Hannah and I'm the mom of muscle here on YouTube and in today's video I'm showcasing some of my most recent purchases for 2022 after taking all of my holiday decor down I have been purchasing new stuff so I'm gonna go through these really quickly with you and if you're interested everything will be linked down below but if you have not already though please be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video and if you're not already following me on Instagram I would love to have you over at mom of muscle Without further ado, let's get into this haul. All right, so the first three items are all from Target. I Target's got some really cute stuff rolling in, so let's start with the first item. So the first item is this beautiful Studio McGee marble dish. It is priced at $25, and I love the size of it. It's probably about a foot in diameter. Solid marble, and it's in this kind of like light brown, so it will go with any home decor style. And I have it styled currently on my coffee table with a match cloche and a candle. It's just, I mean, who doesn't, you can't go wrong with like dishes and whatnot for styling purposes. But love this, $25, great, great buy. So that's the first item on my list. So the next item is still within that Studio McGee capsule, and it's this really cute little rosemary bush. Now it's not the best quality. This was, I think, priced at $25, $20 or $25. Doesn't it look extremely realistic absolutely not but I currently have this styled in my kitchen just as like a filler so it's behind uh, where I have some of my cooking books you know if you're using this for a shelving unit or something kind of far away it will just act as another little you know foliage that's what it looks like the pots really cute it's in light tan color with like what looks like moss on it it has moss within the vessel and then there's a close-up on the branches itself so again not a hundred percent realistic looking but I'm just using this as a filler and I like that this breaks it up from like all of my olive branches obviously you guys know I love my olive branches my trees and whatnot so this was kind of a nice take uh, for bringing in a kind of a different texture as it's supposed to resemble a rosemary bush But that was the next item from Target. Now the next item was definitely a splurge for me I've been eyeballing this blanket for a very long time, but it is it's pricey This is from the Casa Luna line and it's this really beautiful hand woven quilt blanket Now I have this styled on the end of my bed and you guys I'm so glad that I bought this blanket the reason why I'm so thrilled with it is because it just added this texture that my bed was craving when it comes to like styling the whole thing as a whole. And I just, I love the texture. It's thick, it's cozy, it's warm. They have another one that sheds a lot. So make sure you guys look at these because there's two different options. There's one that's more of like a knit like this and then there's one that's a little bit more fibery. So just make sure you are looking at the right one because the other Casa Luna blanket definitely sheds. But Super thrilled with this purchase. I don't remember how much I purchased this for. I think it was like, is it $80? I know there's a few sizes, but super thrilled with this purchase and love it. So that's the next item and last item from Target. Next item is from Amazon and I actually talked, I did talk about these in Amazon items. So I bit the bullet and I purchased these candle holders, which are amazing. Again, they're from Amazon. I think I paid $70 for them. They are a solid rod iron and they come in a tall, a medium, and a small. And these honestly are so beautiful in person. Super substantial in weight. And to be honest, if you wanted, you could just style them without a candlestick in them because they are rather tall. Let me style these behind so you guys can see them against the white. So there they are behind me, but you can tell they are substantially in, in height there. But if you are wanting something like this, super great buy. Again, this was my next item that I purchased from Amazon. The next two items are from CB2. They're not really, you know, anything special, but my plans are to start redoing my master bathroom. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, I do live in a tract home. So a lot of the things within a tract home is not the best quality. And all of the kind of hardware within our master bath are all chrome and I'm not a chrome person. So I'm slowly going to be taking out the chrome, replacing mirrors, taking out medicine cabinets, so I found this really beautiful tray from CB2. Again, I'm gonna start updating all of my stuff in my master bath, but loved this for my master bath kind of remodel. It's this beautiful kind of ribbed fluted glass tray from CB2 with the black detailing there on the bottom. 
This does come in a chrome version, but I thought this was a really pretty option for styling our perfumes, my husband's colognes, or anything kind of maybe your sleeping masks or whatnot, but that's going to be styled next to my sink in both of our uh, bathroom vanities. And then to kind of match that, again, nothing special, but I picked up this beautiful matte black soap dispenser, again, from CB2. I think it was around $8, nothing fancy, but again, just updating these little areas here and there in my bathroom and my home. And I believe this tray was $40, but loved the size and I'm all about ribbed or fluted anything right now. I'm here for it. So that was the next item from CB2. Next two items, coffee table books. Who doesn't love coffee table books? I picked up two. I picked up this guy, Pacific Natural at Home. And I'm a sucker for beautiful coffee table books. I love these for styling purposes. I love opening them and having them styled open on a coffee table or a sideboard and this one really resonated with me based on the photos styling of it within it so there's that and again a big part of why I gravitate towards certain books is also because of the spines I've been gravitating towards super neutral spines when it comes to styling purposes as well so this was a beautiful book the next book is the kinfolk garden I already have the recipe book cookbook but love these books and I'm all about my garden. If you guys don't know me or you haven't been with me uh, all that long, I do have a garden that I recently just finished building this past summer. So I've been super into gardening and super into growing homemade vegetables, pulling fresh vegetables from my garden to make for uh, dinners. So super into cooking, but the spine is super neutral and this is a great book for those that love gardening. So that's the next item on my list. All right, the next three items are all from Hobby Lobby. I picked up some new stems. Can't go wrong with stems. I will try to link them. Hobby Lobby's a little weird. Their website's a little funky, so I will do my best. But let's start with these guys. This is a eucalyptus. Now, I love these branches because they are not your normal silver dollar eucalyptus. It's a different type of eucalyptus, which to be honest, I don't know what they call uh, this style leaf of eucalyptus but this is honestly one of the most realistic looking branches that i have found at hobby lobby and one thing i do love about these branches is they're tall so if you have a really tall vessel you can bend it shorten it and these were priced i believe at ten dollars but hobby lobby is always having sales i think i got it for 50 percent off so that was the first item were these beautiful eucalyptus branches. Second item, these beautiful little flowers. I thought these were really pretty for spring as we we're gonna be approaching spring here rather soon. They were priced at $5.99. And I have these styled in my uh, guest bath in a really beautiful vessel, but thought those were really beautiful, simplistic, and they do look very, very real, even up close. So that was the next little stem that I got from Hobby Lobby, were these beautiful little flowers. Now the last stem that I picked up from Hobby Lobby, I don't even know what these are considered, I just gravitated towards them, but these were also a really great little find that I found from Hobby Lobby. If you guys are on the hunt for stems, honestly, I would choose Hobby Lobby over Michael's hands down. I think Hobby Lobby has a huge selection and a better selection of super realistic branches and they're always running sales so can't go wrong with picking up some really beautiful stems from there so those are the three stems that i did want to talk about for this video all right the last and final two items i don't physically have or i can't show you physically and it's going to be this really beautiful runner that i have in my kitchen it is from the company boutique rugs and it has just been one of my very favorite rugs i did have a black runner and it wasn't a very good quality this one isn't the best quality uh, just because it's in a very high traffic area. It gets thrashed between the dog, between constantly walking on it, rider. So I don't really invest a ton of money in kitchen runners just because they do take a beating from my home and the lifestyle that we have. So I picked up this really beautiful kitchen runner from Boutique Rugs and I've been really happy with it. Really pleased. It lays really flat. I love the pattern there. It's muted, but you still get that beautiful texture. It's in a variety of light browns and I'm just, I'm here for it. So this one was priced at, is it $140? Like it was really inexpensive for a kitchen runner. So, and this one was nine feet long. So super, super pleased with it. Thus far, it's been holding up really great given it is a little bit on the cheaper side, but that was the next item that I did want to talk about. Okay, and the last and final item, I don't physically have it. Shocker, it is on back order, but I have been eyeballing this print for a very long time and I bit the bullet. I got a 10% off coupon from Crate and Barrel, so I decided why not. So I purchased this beautiful, 
artwork print for our loft now again. I have all these different projects here in my home, but our loft is an area that has been totally neglected since we've lived in going on our third year in September. Uh, it's just, it doesn't have furniture in here and this has just been, we've been, you know, buying things slowly for our home and this was a print that I wanted to buy. So this is the next item that I'm adding to our loft. And one thing I do want to state this, it is a pricier uh, image. It's a pricier canvas. It's priced at a thousand dollars. But when I tell you guys how substantial this print is, it's massive. It is huge. So I'm super excited to see how this whole space, I already have it all kind of designed and planned out of how I want it to look. This is going to be my husband's kind of man cave, but we're keeping it tasteful. He's a little bummed that I'm not letting him have free range because I'd have, you know, PlayStation 4 posters all over this all over this room if he had the choice But we're keeping it very classy very tasteful and more man-esque uh, For this space, but I'm super super excited and the fact that I got a discount for it pushed me into purchasing it So that is the last and final item on this haul. All right you guys and that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed I love doing hauls and I'm all for it I like I said, I have so many projects here in my home So you guys will probably be seeing a ton more hauls coming as I am working on different things here in my house. And yeah, I just wanted to showcase all the really fun items that I have been loving that I've purchased. And yeah, that is it. I love you so much and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.